All right, 2003 PGO T-Rex uh, 150. We're going to see if we can solve the issue of the digital clock not working. Uh, this will be similar to all the other PGO T-Rexes, and I'm pretty sure the clock is the same as as all the other PGOs they have that have a little rectangular clock. <clears throat> so to get under the dash. We need to take the mirrors off, unscrew them, and then we've got under here one, two, three uh, Phillips head screws. So then those come out, and this whole panel should just pop off, and then we'll have access to the instrument cluster, the electrics behind there. So we'll get into that. So if we just lift these rubbers up, we'll get a, uh, a hex that we can put a wrench on. So these ones are a 14 millimeter. So what we're doing there is just backing this nut off, that's a lock nut, and then you can unscrew the, the body of the mirror, same on the other side. So right hand side is a left hand thread. So that goes, uh, turn it right to loosen. So yeah, just reverse thread on the right hand mirror. Our three screws will be a uh, probably JIS standard but Phillips head. Uh, JIS screwdriver is great for working on motorbikes, especially Japanese motorbikes. They actually fit the screws and don't uh, don't tear them out.
So I was missing two screws on there. Someone probably had it apart, vibrated them out, lost them, but I'll grab another couple of those when I put it back together. So just sort of push the um, cluster back to get over these, these clips. Uh, there's just a prong that goes in from the other side. And then we unscrew our speedometer cable. Pull that out. And then we've got our uh, main loom hit there. We'll just unplug that and separate those plugs. And that's our cluster out. So I'm just going to take the cluster out, there's four of these screws, in my case someone's missed them up, that's one of the um, fairing screws, so someone's had it out before, but there'll be four of these, one, two, three, four, you can take the cluster out, now looking at it, there would seem to be the only wire going towards the clock, so that's one of the backlights. So then I'm going to take these two screws out. That will, but I think they should remove the, the clock as a one piece. And we'll see what the circuit is doing. So uh, that came out, no worries. So this is obviously not being run off the the bike's power, so there must be a battery under here. Um, looking online, the manual for the one uh, T Rex 125 150 is really a poor manual. Um, it's really hard. It's really hard to get any information out of it. Uh, and it looked like the other PGOs. I saw one that said it was run off the bike's battery, but it looked like the same clock as this. So that may be not the case. Um, if I can scrape this bit of plastic off, I'll guarantee there's a battery under that. And there's our little button cell. Alright, see if I can open that up. Just need something, a little flat screwdriver or something to open that. And we've got a GP186 cell in there. So I'll get another one of these batteries and I reckon that'll fix our clock. Alright, got our new battery. Let's check that there's no uh, corrosion in there from the old battery. Pop that in. So battery in, we just so let's slide it in, get it on those contacts, make sure those contacts are touching. Put your lid on the correct way, that was upside down. Close it up. And 
our clock has come back to life. So this one's quite um, faded. I'll just give this a quick polish with some um, cutting compound. Yeah, it should should be perfect. Um, could replace that black tape there. I think that just prevents the light from reflecting up at night. But that's how you fix your PGO T-Rex dashboard clock. So there we are after about 30 seconds of um, rubbing it with some finishing compound. It's taken that oxidation off. If you look at the wrong angle you can still see the, the very fine crazing. Uh, I don't think there's anything that will take that away. But uh, that's quite usable now. Uh, to set the clock you use your bottom buttons. So select your hours, your minutes date a.m. p.m. right so there you go 